I don't know about this. My disasters have happened. I can't tell how bad it is. We're gonna cut some more off. Oh, <gasps> I should have stopped. Got a little bowl haircut. That's not a good look. Good evening. I have not vlogged in the longest time. I just haven't picked up my camera at all, but you are joining us from a hotel room that looks identical to one that we have stayed in before, even down to this little naked man. Um, It could be the same room. I don't think it is but it could be. Anyway, we are off to go and see John Mayer in concert. I am so, so excited. I am wearing this little um, jumpsuit from, ooh, I do not know where this jumpsuit is from. I want to take you along. I also don't want to take this camera in my bag, so I'm gonna just film on my iPhone. Um, or do I take this camera? Ooh, okay, I'll take the camera. I'll take the camera. I just think we'll start vlogging again. Let's, let's see how this goes. We have arrived at the O2. Um, I just had the loveliest girl um, take my photos. Like she was genuinely so nice. She was like, no, no, stay there. Okay, John Mayer's gonna come up on the background on the big screen. She was like, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Um, but we're just going to the box office. We do already have tickets, but as per, I would really love a physical one for my scrapbook. Ours are like digital, so we're gonna see if they'll let us have one. Hey, anyway, we've got tickets for John Mayer. And could we get physical ones? Just got some veggie gyoza. Nick got some chicken gyoza. Just a little snack. We have already eaten a little bit. We wanted um, some food because it's been a little while since we've eaten. We don't have any gum, so we're like, oh, we'll get some food. This is very much um, chivy. Maybe a little bit of garlic. Probably not doing the best for the breath situation. <laughs> I'm meant to be uh, aiming for an hour of exercise a day, so we're taking the stairs <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead of the escalator. I also got stopped by security. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. As always, I always get stopped by security. And he pulled out my like mini tripod, pulled it out and was like, what's this? I was like, don't worry, I'll show you how it works. We got some chicken mix, and it was literally meant to be like a, whoa. <laughs> it was meant to be like a, just a tiny little bit of something just to tie us over. It came to 11 pounds, but let me show you what we got. Look at this little, uh, little haul going on. Look at this. What's this? Never seen one of those. I think this is a peach ring. Oh, it's hard. Agreed. A little watermelon. I'm just not really for me. A minute, can you see that? Mmm. That's pretty good. There's only one, so look after it. They're like a green. What would I think that was? Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh my jaw. Cannot cope with that. What is that? It's got like no flavour. Mmm. Mmm. We've got quite a few of these. They look like Haribo tank plastic thingies. Oh, they don't taste like them. The texture is completely wrong. The mini um, paintbrush thingy. Interesting. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Right. We've just, wait, we've just gone to get some water. <laughs> Six pounds for two bottles. Six pounds. Not even big. They don't even give you the lid. <laughs> I'm very aware that someone could drop something in this now, so I'm like watching my bottle, like, please. It's just such an unbelievable thing, so thank you. I mean it with all my life. I have a few pieces to show you from Halara, then I'm heading to the gym, then I'm cutting my hair because this needs to go, and then tomorrow I am seeing Soph. So, exciting things, all exciting things. But let's start at the beginning with what's next to me on the bed. I have an order from Halara I am so excited about. I have worked with them before and I love their pieces. They're so soft and comfy. Um, so I am working with Halara. I'm gonna have all of the links down below along with a code for you to get 20% off. But all of my opinions are gonna be completely honest. First thing, is a little sports bra. Wow, this lilac looks so pretty. I also got, I think, everything in a size medium. I think last time I got everything in a medium and it fit like perfectly. So I think everything is medium. Um, this is the first item, little lilac sports bra. It's got double straps and then a cute little crossover at the back. Holy poop, I absolutely adore it it is so cute maybe one of my favorite sports bras it may have just gone to the straight to the top of my collection i love sports bras that come down further than like rib 
height. I feel like most sports bras cut off here and I love the ones that cover down to sort of here. I just feel like they're more flattering on me. I like this sports bra a lot. They had new trousers and I thought they were gonna be more kind of jogger material, but they actually feel like the sports bottoms. They're not jogger material. I do, however, love this waistband. I don't think these are for me. So this is what they look like on. They look very much like joggers, but they're not joggers. They are like exercise bottoms. I personally probably wouldn't wear these to the gym and I probably wouldn't wear them out because I don't know what I'd pair them with, but they are very, very comfortable. They're soft, they fit nicely, they have pockets. I got myself a little pair of gym leggings or gym bottoms. They are stretchy, they have pockets. Can we take a moment for this outfit? I think I'm actually gonna wear this to the gym today. This is so freaking cute. Okay, these are the bottoms. They have a little pocket on either side. They hug me nicely around the waist. I love the little V detailing. They are so soft and there's no pants on show when stretching. So <sighs> love this outfit, 10 out of 10. I got this second sports bra. This is what it looks like. It has thicker straps. It has a little hook to do up at the back. And then at the back, it has a really sweet little crossover detailing. So this is the sports bra on. Again, as I said, I prefer it when it's a little bit longer. It has a slight halter neck look to it. And this is what the back looks like. I got another sports bra. I thought I only got two. I got it in two colors. Again, love this sports bra. It is the same as the lilac one, but it's just so nice. I love this combination as well. I think these are the dungarees. I'm most excited to try these on. I keep saying dungarees, it's like a jumpsuit situation. It is a super relaxed fit and it just looks so comfy. I'm just praying it looks good on. I feel like an artist. I feel like I'm gonna go paint or do some pottery. I feel like I'm going traveling and just, <gasps> these are so cute. Are you kidding me? They have little buttons down the front. So I would assume you can adjust the length so you can have it slightly higher, but I love the fully baggy look to these. I got another pair of gym bottoms and this is the pink pair on. Gonna go ahead and say, don't love the pink on my skin tone. Gonna go ahead and say that's possibly a no-go. The fit though is very, very nice. I love this little crossover detailing at the front. They do again have pockets on them. They are slightly thinner than this pair and I think I prefer the thicker fit. So I'll have both pairs linked below, but this material is definitely a little bit thicker. I got myself another dress. At the back, it has a little crossover detail and then in there, inside the dress, are a pair of shorts with pockets. This is perfect for doing like outdoor sports in groups when you might be doing something else afterwards and don't want to get changed. Wear this to paddle, look cute, hitting the ball over the net and then afterwards go for a coffee and I've got a cute dress to go to the coffee shop in. And they're just so flattering too and they come in so many different colours. All of the items that I've shown come in so many different colours. As I said, I am going to have a link down below to all of the items and then on screen I will have a code for 20% off. So yeah, I am now gonna change and head to the gym. This outfit has to be my favorite. Like this is such a cute outfit. Nick and I now have a little tradition of making scones on a Friday evening. We make three each and save one for the morning. So this is my little morning scone, which I'm gonna go ahead and have with a cup of coffee, which Nick will make me. I'm gonna eat that and then I'm gonna make my way to the gym. I think I'm just gonna do like a really simple walk today. Just do some like active recovery, cardio. Then I'm gonna come home shower, try not to wash too much makeup off my face, just like get my hair wet and then cut it. This is the hair situation. Also, you may be able to hear Nick downstairs. I don't know if you can hear him. Oh, he's playing guitar, I love it. Hair situation, as you can see, it is pretty long. I have not had it cut for quite a while. It's decently healthy, but for me, it's not healthy at all. It's quite rat's nesty, like, it really needs a cut, but if you didn't know, I am a little bit of a procrastinator. So it has needed a cut for probably six months and I haven't gone to get it cut. So we're gonna do it ourselves and I'd really, really like nice choppy layers in my hair. And the only, it seems, the only risks of the butterfly cut is that when it's down, sometimes if it's not styled, it can look a little messy. And that's fine because I don't wear my hair out down. I also watched the Brad Mondo uh, video tutorial on YouTube and I'm gonna pretty much stick to his version of it. We're going to measure the apex of my head. From here, we're going 
down to my ears. We're tying this in a band on the front of my head. We're bringing this bit at the back of my head and we're chopping off a ton of hair. As long as it's past shoulder length, like it's somewhere around here, I'm good. I can kind of make a mistake and just have it in a high ponytail for a couple months while it grows back, we think, most of the time. Brushing forwards, oh my gosh, my, <laughs> my trousers are getting soaked. Down to the back of my ear. Kind of. Is that correct partitioning? I could not find my batteries. I put one in, it was already dead. So I've put another one in and it's almost dead. This is getting brushed forwards to my brows. So about here. I don't know about this. I think I regret my decision. I look utterly ridiculous. My hair is now in sections. I have put this top bit back and up into a ponytail at the top of my head. You're supposed to pull it forward to like a sort of an angle. I think he said. So like here and then six inches is coming off. Oh. Wait, from the longest point though, six inches is like here. But I was gonna take off that much. Okay, glad I measured it. Now the nerves have hit me. Oh my. <laughs> I'm full of regrets, I'm full of regrets. It's not even straight. Wait, oh no, oh no. Disasters have happened. I also wasn't holding it up, I was holding it down. I've seen people do this, so I'm just gonna do this. I think I've made a mistake. We're just gonna chop off some more from here. I should have stopped, I should have stopped. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Wait a second, right, okay, that is not straight. There it goes. Camera died, I have chopped both sections. Holy poop, look how much hair is on the floor. I may have made a slight mistake. Oh, <gasps> oh my hair is so short, okay. Oh dear. Oh, okay, okay, it's not too bad. Okay, okay, okay. I can't tell how bad it is. <laughs> Wait, did I even cut my hair? Okay, okay, okay. You can barely see where the layers are. It goes which is pretty good, but I don't even think I could take, you know, I think I could take another two inches off maybe. I mean, I haven't really lost anything in length. We're gonna cut some more off. <laughs> I am back for round two. Oh goodness. I feel like this was wrong. My fingers aren't in the right position. Oh, it's done now. Oops. Get away. Why can't I chop you? There we go. Oh dear. I mean, it looks relatively straight. One more brush through because nerves. We're going for the chop. Oh, I feel like I'm losing the line. Bad things have happened. Okay. Let me just chop into this. Feels a lot lighter. How is the length? The length is still the same. I don't know how this is happening. I wanted my hair to be shorter. Battery died again. This piece of hair, however, is only this long. So my layers are clearly very choppy to go from this length all the way down to here. So this is how we're looking. And you can see that the top layers start here and chop all the way in. My hair feels a ton lighter. Like, oh, it feels so much lighter. I definitely think I could take maybe one more inch off. So I'm gonna do that off camera because you do keep dying on me. And also look how much hair is on the floor. <laughs> look how much hair just popped off my head. Okay, this is my hair. I've just given it a very, very quick style. And uh, yeah, this part of my foundation has disappeared because of how many times I like pulled my hair across my forehead. But look at my hair. It's so much lighter and bouncier and fluffier and voluminous. And it feels like I've just come back from the hairdressers. I guess I need to thank TikTok for putting this on my For You page and Brad Mondo for the tutorial, which I will link down below. And wow, look at it. Look at my hair. This is in front of where I was sitting, but then there's this in front of the mirror. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the bed is like covered in little tiny choppings. I have just put my hair in a ponytail for the first time. I was like, oh, I'll just get it out of my face. Where's my hair gone? Okay, hear me out. So I think I cut off like 10 inches because I did the first six. Then I did one and then two and then one and then one, I think. So maybe even 11 inches, I cut a lot off. I'm, I'm fully aware of that. But what's confusing me is that the longest length is still as long as it was. And when my hair was in a pony, it came to like here. So where's this gone? Good morning. We have a situation with the hair, okay? I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like yesterday I was like, oh my god, this is the best haircut. I love it so much. Right, here's the situation. First of all, this is overnight curls. That's amazing. They never work for me. Overnight curls never work for me. They have worked. So, it is so windy. The car just shook. This part of my hair down here just looks like just nothingness. Like, kind of 
my whole car is shaking rat tail ish sort of just at the end so i just want to like chop the ends off just just chop it just there maybe but i don't know what i'm doing i'm not a hairdresser it is so short and i know i laughed about it yesterday when i showed you but it is so bad it looks like i've got a little bowl haircut that's not a good look i can kind of make a mistake and just have it in a high ponytail for a couple months that's not good this is my like this is my go-to hairstyle if i'm going somewhere and i need to throw my hair up this is it it's ruined! I am full of regrets. I haven't yet tried putting it in plaits and I'm really hoping it looks okay, but otherwise I've ruined my hair. I'm annoyed, but I'm also like, oh, it will grow back. I just, it will grow back. It will be fine in like a couple months. Don't worry about it. I'm on my way to Soph's. I will try and vlog. Uh, we basically just sit and chat, but I will try and vlog if I can. I will see you when I get there. Okay, bye. Hair? fully fallen out but not as much as i thought this was overnight curls oh it looks really nice thank you they i'm with soph hello we how long have i been here three hours we have been chatting about soph's wedding <laughs> about fights <laughs> <laughs> we've eaten food we had a little where is it a little ask or as soph louise would say a little ask oh yeah we had a little <laughs> ask i thought i'd update you it's probably the last clip you'll see <laughs> We're on WhatsApp. <laughs> if you swipe up on the camera icon, it randomly gives you like a three, two, one, and starts recording, but like in a circle. Why is it in a circle? And then it sends it to the contact in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Explain the situation. I've just realized that you can swipe up on the voice memo thing on WhatsApp, and then it just keeps recording. You don't have to hold it. Genius. I sit here for like two minutes. <laughs> You stuff. send two minute voice notes. Yeah. You're that person. <laughs> but you can watch them in times two. So. <laughs> Great. <laughs>